Hello everybody, I'm Mara Tumari, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Centigeek. Um, as Christina told you, Centigeek is an automated cloud platform that helps companies improve their product and improve their relationship with their customers, thus gaining greater customer experience and loyal customers. So, did you know that every year half a trillion dollars are lost in the US alone because companies cannot handle their unhappy customers? Just imagine what happens on a global scale. So, as you can see, unhappy customers cost 20 times more than happy customers. And when customers refer other customers, those referred customers tend to spend at least twice as much as an average customer. So I guess you all understand that it's in the interest of the company to keep its customers happy. And the way to do it is by using text analytic solutions that are out in the market. These solutions help companies understand what their customers say about them and their products. The problem is with current solutions is that they offer limited results in terms of specialization, accuracy, and meaningful business insight. Let me show you an example. This is a real customer review on, some, on Amazon about Samsung Galaxy S2. Awesome for the price, like new condition, and very fast. My son in college loves it. Now I'll show you the analysis of this review by IBM Watson. Okay, it finds that new condition is neutral, which is not the case, that son and college are considered positive in this case, which is rather irrelevant since we're talking about a review about smartphones. Also, if you take a look at the, cate the category labels that it finds, health and fitness, food and drink, are supposed to be relevant to this review, which obviously is based on a misconception of the word condition. Now, this is what we do. We find that in this context, the review about smartphones, positive words are awesome, new, very fast, and loud. We also find that relevant classification and taxonomies are industry specific, like quality feature, price feature, smartphone product. Also, we find that there is not just one person expressing an opinion in the text, but there are two. As you see, it's also the son of the author who expresses an opinion, loves about the specific model. And also, we find that it's not just any price that it's discussed, it's the price of the specific model. So what we actually do is we take the input of the user and then we feed it into our own processing system. We implement 13 layers of sentiment to analyze the text. Then we have our own knowledge base, a very intricate one. Then we pass it through our own text analysis, deep text analysis. We create customer profiles and customer personas, combining the results of our own analysis with any demographic data available on platforms or in the, in the user's database. We create personas and together we analyze the other opinion holders that are found in the text. Then we use all this data to make projections about sales or other parameters important to the company. All this, for now, because this is our MVP, are included in a report. Also in this report, we have alerts about happy and unhappy customers so that the company can take action upon it immediately. We, uh, we achieve all this by having created our own technology. We use proprietary algorithms that combine artificial intelligence, language technologies, deep linguistic analysis and text analysis, and implementation of cognitive and pragmatic theory. What makes us unique has two sides, is twofold. First is, the, is our technology. We have a different approach to text analytics, a rather different from what is uh, prevalent today that concerns machine learning. The second thing that differentiates us is the fact that we make this wonderful combination in only one business solution. And although it's a crowded market, that's why end users are coming to us, which is Quite a big surprise for us. As you see, some of our typical competitors are Aspectiva, Reviews, IBM Watson, Clara Breeds, Lexalytics, and many others. So we're actually a business-to-business -business, um, 
case, we offer a software as a service, which is based on the number of transactions per month uh, that are performed, the type of analysis the user chooses, and the duration of the subscription. What happens with customer acquisition? Uh, first of all, I have to tell you that when we first entered the market, about a year ago, everyone told us that, what are you doing? This is a crowded market. Well, our experience is quite different, and I'll explain more maybe later in the questions. Um, our target for going into the market is also twofold. One direction is creating partnerships with digital agencies, consul consultancies, marketing intelligence companies, market companies, all these type of companies that have the same end users as us. So this is, let's say, the easier way for us. The other way is to get end users ourselves. So now we are organizing our pilots, first going through the stage of free trial, because we don't offer a demo at this stage. We are discussing with Flipkart, one of the three top e-commerce retailers in India. Uh, in the States, we are discussing with big digital agencies. In Europe, we are organizing a pilot with Adidas, the headquarters in Germany. And we also have a letters of interest by Interland, a data analytics company, and the bank subsidiary for its call center. So um, this is uh, our sale, but we need to renew it after my last trip to the States, which I have just come three days ago. Um, year three, we're doing our break-even. Its uh, sales are, close, are approaching three million and a half. Uh, we're seeking 500,000 uh, million, uh, well, dollars for the first year, and approximately a, year, uh, a million and a half for the, thir for the second year as well. Me, the CEO, CTO, our ontology is expert, and Seth, a leading industry analyst, uh, is our advisor. So, various awards throughout the globe, and we invite you to live the Centgeek experience. Thank you.